We had to wait a whole week for this game, but it's finally here. Camp Point Central versus All Top Catholic, a quarterfinal rematch from last year, but this year a lot more at stake because the winner moves on to state. So let's get right into this game. We'll start things off with this guy right here. He does it all. That's right, Mr. Elijah Ginnenbacher. He's going to try to find a man. But he's going to decide to keep this one, weaving in and out of defenders. He dodges a tackle and is going to pick up the well-earned first down there for Camp Point. That's then going to set things up for a handoff to Curtis Rake. He's going to make his way to the outside and into the end zone for the Tutty. Here's what Camp Point's defense had to battle all game long, though. The Oregon commit, De'Air Hill Jr., once he got going, it was really hard to stop him. He put up some numbers for the Crusaders today, including this play right here. Panthers continue to respond. Now, we don't see so much from this uh, from their offense, but how about an absolute dime by Ginnenbacher to Nate Peters? He earned the first down on that play. Next quarter, Candy Niekamp gets the handoff and bulldozes his way into the end zone for another six. Now, unfortunately, the Crusaders would open things up in the second half, topping camp point 58 to 19. WGM's Hannah Barton was in Belleville for this game and has more with the post game report. Thanks, Victoria. Well, unfortunately, Camp Point's run at defending that state title came to an end today with that loss to Altoff Catholic. The game of the game, both teams trading touchdowns back and forth, but as it went on, ultimately, it was too tall of a task to try and contain De'Ara Hill, the Altoff Catholic running back, and the rest of their offense. Panthers showed great fight, a bit more of a pass game than we're used to seeing from them, but of course, lots of groundwork highlighted by Gennenbacher and Niekamp. However, Hill's five touchdowns would ultimately push the Crusaders to get that semifinal win. But I was proud of the way we came down here and fought. Um, our guys didn't back down, and I knew they wouldn't. Um, we had some things go our way early, and then, uh, you know, it would have been nice to score right there before half, but, but it really boils down to we couldn't stop them. I mean, they had over 500 yards rushing, and, and um, you know, the Hill kid proved to be the real deal, and, and uh, you know, we just... You know, I call the defense. It just wasn't wasn't good on my side of the ball for sure. Well, again, lots for the Panthers to be proud of from this season. We congratulate them on a great run. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you, Victoria. Thanks, Hannah. And Camp Point replaced 17 starters in the offseason. So, I mean, to make it to the state semifinal day game is definitely something to be proud of. Big deals in Missouri, though. South Shelby moving on to the state semifinals after taking down Midview Cannon today, 28 to 26. They'll face Fairgrove next Saturday at home at 2 o'clock. North Shelby advances in eight-man. They're going to take on Bramier next Saturday at 1 o'clock. 